What is going on, nerd paraders and fellow citizens? Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me here today in this quick video of how you can procure yourselves the exclusive Halloween event for 2022 and previous Halloween events, masks in Star Citizen and keep them permanently. Now there's been a lot of misconception around this, but we're gonna talk about how you can get them, the probably arguably easiest way to farm them and the best way to do it. I am Nick, this is Nerd Parade, and thank you again for coming ahead. We're going to start this video off right away by clearing up the big misconception that these masks are not permanent or losable after you've looted them in the game. This is a post by CIG staff confirming on the topic of will I lose these masks next time you do a database wipe. And it says, to preserve the masks, we will mark accounts that loot any of the Day of the Vara, aka Halloween event, masks during Alpha 317, and make sure to reattribute one permanent copy of each looted. That means you have to loot one of each type to maintain one of each type permanently on your account after the wipe so that you can continue the fright with Alpha 318 and beyond. This will hit your hanger in 318. So there are three types of masks. This is the Hill Horror Mask. There are two different variants of this one. There was the green LED on the face variant, and then the second one being a red LED on the face variant. And then the rarest one of the three that you can get during the Halloween event is the Snarling Vanduul Mask. And there's a lot of controversy surrounding this one. It was previously a super exclusive mask to get. It has now made it back in 2022 for those of you out there that weren't able to obtain it. And we're going to show you how to do that now, where to do it, and the best ship possible for the farming. If you've made it this far into the video and you're wondering just what exactly is Star Citizen, or you've checked it out and you're thinking about jumping into the game, please do not make the same mistake I did and not use a referral code. You get bonus free in-game money for doing it and other perks, and so does the person whose code you use. It's a mutual beneficial thing. I'm going to put my code right here up at the top of the screen for the remainder of the video, and let's go hunt some Halloween masks. So where can we go to find the Halloween masks and how do we get them? Well, there are these red boxes right here that spawn at outposts. And if you find a box, very highly likely will it contain one of the new Halloween masks. On a lower percentage chance, I mean, I guess it is technically RNG or random, you will find the Van Snarling Vanduul mask. It's the rarest one. Most commonly, you'll find the Hill Horror mask variants of red or green. So where can you go to find the outposts that contain the loot boxes? Personally, I chose Hurston because there are a lot of outposts on Hurston. Uh, like any of the HDMSs work. The HDSFs don't. Those are security buildings. But for example, I picked Pinewood. The reason why I chose Pinewood just honestly at the time is I came here and there was nobody else here. So I farmed out all three masks at HDMS Pinewood. And that's where I'm currently at right now for this video. There are four buildings here at HDMS Pinewood and any of the buildings, yes, that even includes the small ground vehicle claiming terminal place over here, any of these buildings can contain or have spawn a red box which have the masks in it. Each building here at this outpost does, or any outpost really, does have a predetermined spawn location for boxes. However, the boxes can spawn either as these white or gray boxes you're seeing here, or the red boxes which contain the armor and the coveted mask that we're looking for. So make sure that you check each of the buildings quite carefully, and after doing this for a little while, you'll notice what the spawn points are and be able to check them quicker and quicker. Now that we covered where you can farm out the Halloween masks and how to find them, if that's all the information you were looking for, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified whenever I post new content before you go. However, if you'd like to know the method that I used in order to farm these out really quickly, stay tuned because we're going to cover that right now. So the method on how to farm these out really quickly and arguably faster than just going from outpost to outpost, you're going to need a ship. It could be any ship. It doesn't have to be this cutlass steel with a super fancy green paint job on it. You can have any ship as long as it has a bed in which you can log out in. So there is a best ship for that. We'll cover that in just a moment. But I'm going to show you what I did in order to farm out 
all these masks in a relatively short amount of time. On average, it seems like it's taking community members approximately four hours. For me, it took just under three, so I did get slightly lucky. But you're going to go to the bed, you're going to log out, and you're going to do a bit of server hopping. Here on the menu, after we have logged out, this is likely going to be what your screen looks like. Server location is best, and you can click to enter Star Citizen Universe. Hit that little down arrow and choose a different server based on the location that you are at. So I'm in the U.S., I'll choose an Australia-based server and click Enter Star Citizen. After waking up on your new server, make sure the first thing you do is hop into the pilot seat and land your ship. If you log out in your ship, uh, you will not be landed and your ship will kind of hover around and float. I learned that the hard way. Also, there is a chance that your ship can disappear if you log out kind of close to the landing pads in the area. So I found behind the buildings to be a bit of a safer area. But now that we're on this new server, let's hop out of our chair and go check the boxes to see if we've got new masks in them. Ah, we did. We have a red box spawned right on top of the package delivery system. Let's see what's in there. Patiently waiting. We got it. Oh my god, we actually got a second Vanduul mask. That's actually super lucky. Wow. Okay, we're gonna grab that puppy out of here. And now we have looted it, so it qualifies as... Flagging your account that you have looted it in 3.18, this will be maintained in your hangar. So as you have seen from the earlier portion of this video, the boxes spawn kind of in different locations, but they are preset locations and they can be either the white or the fancy red box. It's like the super luckiest box ever. That's crazy. Now, as I'm coming outside, while I did get super lucky with a mask, hey, my ship is gone. It did the disappeary thing. This can happen. I found that it doesn't happen as often if you park behind the buildings, like I mentioned before, but it does happen, which is a great opportunity now to talk about literally the best ship that you can have for doing this. And as I'm walking to go bring one in, you might have already guessed what it is. It's the Origin 100i. The reason why this is the best ship is a very, very simple reason. And it's because you can bring out that ship at a ground vehicle terminal, which we're going to do right now. And it's got a bed in which you can log out in. That is the most important feature. You can bed log in the 100i. We're going to claim it. We're going to expedite it. And we're going to bring it in. There she is. So just in case that horrible thing happens where your ship despawns, you have, one, access to get back up into space if you so need to, instead of just hitting escape or alt f 4ing out of nerd rage, and you can log out in the bed in the 100i and continue your server hopping adventures. So that is the best ship in order for you to do this method of farming in. But don't worry. If something bad does happen to you, we have the entire month of October to farm out these Halloween masks. There's no real rush. I just like to get things done early so I don't have to worry about it. And this is where we would log out. I hope this video was useful to you Halloween hunters out there. If it was, please let me know in the comments below that you benefited from it. Or if you have an alternate method in which you use to farm out the masks, maybe even in a more efficient manner. Thank you again so much for coming to hang out with me. Remember to take care of yourselves, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next one.